This playthrough is rated E for everyone. Man, hopefully Jones can uh, pilot a sub. Greetings and salutations, viewers. We're right back here with the finale of Inia Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. And this is the full done of the playthrough. So all the points, at least all the ones I could get and everything. So let's look at our IQ currently. So currently we're on the team path. We got 264, but the total I'm carry, carry, uh, important about it is 942. So if you watched all my playthrough, I've shown most of getting most of the points. There were a few exceptions that I missed over the course. And there was only like really, I think it was like four instances. So I'm going to really quickly before we get to the game, because I'm going to skip a lot of the end stuff because it's the same for the previous one. So I'm only going to show like the, the credits again, basically. But um, some of the one, some of the stuff I didn't show before was um, uh, tackling, uh, finding the uh, Omar's associate without the red fez and a couple of the fights. Unfortunately, with the fights, there's no unique dialogue with them when you beat them it just happens so i use the cheat to uh to get them so the cheat for those who didn't watch that version of it is you have to type in um scum underscore v-a-r-s uh, parentheses uh 322 parentheses space and the 300 and it'll heal you so the three guys i couldn't beat on the fight path was the guy protecting the um slabs because you can either knock him out or push the slab on top of him to kill him uh was one of them and i think this one i had uh trouble just beating the guy in general for whatever reason um and then the other one was arnold he's really hard you have to basically either have to uh, have a mastery of the game specifically the fighting mechanics or like i just did i just fought him and then when he did enough damage to me i heal i'd use the cheat to heal and do it over and over and over again now for those who i i do want to show the um omar thing really quick like what it looks like because the last time i just because of just the way it works, it's hard to see on the map. So let me look, uh, actually, hold on. Before we do that, let me go and save here for the team path. Uh, let's see, what's the team six? Okay. All right, we'll save it team seven. So this is the clear, clear all the points type of run. So, and this is just to show off everything I missed before. Now I could have saved it after the end of the game, but I want to get this done, get this out of the way now. So, all right, let me load up the uh this one here so so what the, we've already at this point we've already given omar's assistant the uh card and we're going to meet him have a meeting with him now if you walk outside if you take a few seconds to look around you should see a there he is um you should see like a white like dot or whatever oh you might have already gotten out of my vision uh he was right there for a second but uh, oh there he is down there okay Man, he really, he really blows past my vision. Because it is really hard to see him. Look at that. He might have already... Uh, let's see. All right, let's see if we can yeah, get back to him. Yeah, this guy is really hard to see when he goes... Because he's a grayish look. Look at that. Look how hard it is to see him. Uh, because if you do it with the Fez, which is, you know, you go... Um, ah, crap. He might have already gotten away from me. Um... Because the way you're supposed to do is you get a fez and put it on his head. It makes it a lot easier to see him. Uh, but if you can do it, but you get five points for doing that. If you can, you can catch him without, uh, um, without the fez, you get 10 points instead. The servant's ducking into that house. So that's how you get, like I said, it's just hard to see. That's all it is. Okay. So I've already got the points for that. So, and then, uh, I already showed off fighting the, or I already showed off how to do the cheat with the fighting. But for those who are curious how I do that, let me just go back to this save really quick. And if you want to debug the game, you have to press Control D, at least on the version I'm playing with the Scum VM system, which is a emulator for um, point and click games like this. So you press Control D and it goes into a um, uh, debug menu and you have to know what the debug menu is. And to heal during combat is just this, it's this line right here. Sorry, this line right here. So just as long as you memorize that, you can beat the fight and get all points. Now there's no unique reward or unique ending for getting all the points, it's just bragging rights. So, but anyway, we find ourselves on the subs, so now we need to save Sophia, because in, in the last episode we went through the labyrinth of Crete with uh, Sophia. Looks nasty. And she had a bit of trouble following our instructions, so we were able to convince her to, uh, uh, yeah, too bad we, can we use it? And risk killing a passing Marlin? Oh, uh, well, I mean, you've killed people before, but not Marlins, that's for sure. What's the name of the sub with the fighting fighting fish or something like that? Huh. Well, anyway. Okay, so. 
Yeah, I think we just have to. Ooh. Fearsome. Yeah. Can we use this one? And risk killing a passing dolphin? <laughs> Does he have a different line every time we use it, or is it just per cannon? And risk killing okay. a passing so dolphin. So it's a dolphin if it's that one, and it's a marlin if it's the other one. Huh. Eh, let's see. Yeah, we want to go to the hatch because we need to go inside. Although, should we go inside with all the, uh, you know, uh, halt? Uh oh. I'm the captain here, and I don't tolerate stowaways. That was a weird climbing mechanic where he twitched there a bit. Okay, so there's actually two separate points you can get here. So let me show you the way you can get out of this instantly. So let's save it really quick. Okay, so we want to choose this option. I'm not a stowaway, I'm a runaway. We'll see about that. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> Looks like I'm captain now. Whoa, we're getting underway. Okay, so... What that does is it uh, it basically bypasses the fight uh, because it even has the fight music and everything like that. You get one point for doing that. So um, so let me show you what happens if you fight him legit now. So let me load that up again. So in the way, like I said, the way the IQ system works is it automatic it, it saves in the persistent file, so it automatically tags it if you've got it. The only way you could get rid of it is if you deleted the persistent file and restarted from scratch. I think you might also be able to clear the IQ points in, in the debug menu, but I don't know how to do that part. So, uh, sorry, wrong boat does the same thing too, by the way. Sorry, wrong boat. Wrong or not, you're under arrest. Okay, and the same thing happens. I just wanted to show the dialogue for that. So, anyway, if you want to fight him. Are you a sub captain or merely subhuman? Defend yourself, American Shrine. All right, this guy's. Look at this. He's got like no health and no power, so one good punch will take him out. Looks like I'm captain now. Whoa, we're getting underway. Let's hope we're headed for Atlantis. Okay, so I let that run a little bit longer because I wasn't paying attention. So, uh, yeah, now we're just kind of hanging around in the Atlantis and we need to find where, or the sorry, Mediterranean, and we're needing to find uh, where Atlantis is, so we need to go through this place. Now, if you beat the captain, it uh, gives you three points, by the way. So, so right now we're at 946 on our total. All right, so let's head down into the lower decks and see if we can get out of here and save Sophia, so... Whoops. Yeah, we can't actually I'm do that. I'm a dead man if I go down there while those Nazis are around. Well, anyway, so we need to uh, get everyone away from here. So what does this do? It says Flugel Doofel. That can't actually be German. That's got to be him just being silly. Okay, so now we can deal with the intercom on here. So uh, what we need to do is we need to basically get them all away from there so we can actually... Um, uh, explore the place, but, uh... Now hear this. All hands to the stern torpedo bay. The crew will report midship on the double. Good work, men. Carry on. That's probably a reference to the, uh, um, Star Wars thing or whatever. But anyway, we need to have them go to the bow. Uh, your captain commands all hands to the bow. Okay, so that'll get rid of them temporarily anyway, so... Alright. Let's uh, climb into the sub. You get three points for doing that, by the way. Alright, there's a Sophia's guard or whatever, so... As you can see here, we are 
949. So, all right. So now we need to figure out how to get Sophia out of there. So let's take a look around. So, oh, there's the head. <laughs> That's another, uh, some people will call the head the, uh, the, the toilet or whatever. So and there's Kerner and uh, the scientist. Uh, Uberman, yeah. I had to think of his name for a second. All right, looks like some lockers here, but nothing in them. It's a pair of storage lockers. I don't think this is the time or place. To look at Sophia? Indy! Uh, Jones, where? Sorry, must have been my imagination. Uh. <laughs> she almost got me in trouble, the, the little minx. But, uh, yeah, anyway, let's keep looking around. All right, let's keep looking around. All right, ooh, we got some bread here. All right, now with a trap door. All right, battery acid, huh? Okay, well, anyway, let's make a sandwich. I'll bet it's hard as a rock. Yeah, let's take it anyway. I'll take a couple of slices. Even though it's hard as a rock? What is this stuff, pumpernickel? Ew! Anyway, let's take a, let's see, what was it? Oh yeah, let's pick up this porcelain mug over here. It's a porcelain beer stein. Ah. Anyway, we've got it now. We also want to take this cold cuts. Now, you actually don't need to take the sandwich meat and the cold cuts. There's a, um, you need it for the Atlantean um, labyrinth. However, you can get uh, you can get a substitute for it in the actual labyrinth itself, but it does require fighting. If you don't want to fight, then I would uh, just pick up the uh, cold cuts or take them with you. Don't mind if I do. They've just about got themselves a delicatessen here. I live in the good life in the Nazi army. Hmm. Anyway, we want to uh, make ourselves a sandwich, so let's uh, use bread on cold cuts. And we got ourselves a submarine sandwich. We're going to save that for later. It's labeled Ausgeschnitzel. Why do you keep saying these random words? It's labeled Krausgefarben. And Farfanugan. That's a thing too, right? What's this? A torpedo room. Let's see. It's a bundle of tangled wires. Bundled up and tangled up knots. Anyway. Wait, what was there? Oh, there it is. Uh, I, was, I was trying to get the torpedo tube thing to highlight. There it, it won't is. open. It must be broken. Okay. Wait, wait. Let's go. Okay. Let me get... We want to go open here and down here. Okay, so I want to look at this battery essence. One of the batteries is leaking. That stuff looks pretty corrosive. Yeah, don't touch it. Don't get it on your hands, viewers. You don't want to know what happens. But anyway, we want to use the porcelain mug on the battery acid. Okay, the mug is full of acid. This is battery acid, you creep! Man, I haven't seen that, that uh, version of the movie in forever, so... Okay. So let's go this way. You'll get nothing from me. Water torture. Blah, 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 blah. Focus. <laughs> you must be kidding. Needles. I'd rather die. Needles. Lips are sealed. Thumb screws. Never in a million years. Water torture. I like all the random out of context Lips lines that just sealed. pop up like, what? Thumb what is going screws. on here? But anyway, we need to talk to Sophia, so... Can we look at her? I don't think this is the time or okay. place. Anyway, <laughs> pick her up. Hot coals. Nope, okay. Anyway, talk to her. Never in a million years. Sophia? Indy? Jones can't save you now, madam. Uh, wait. I'm getting a message. A message from Nurab Sal. Nurab what? An old friend from Atlantis. His spirit is calling me. Huh. Well, if you want to solve this solution, we need to uh, tell her we got a plan, but, uh... Can you get rid of the guard? Alas, Nurab Sal is weak and far away. <laughs> All right, well, that's not gonna work. Where are the stone discs? Uh, Nurab Sal refuses to share his secrets until he is released. Ah, I see where that is. Come on, tell me where the stones are. 
Nurab Thal is impatient and angry and uncooperative today. <laughs> uh, you think they wouldn't be messing with each other, but like I said, it's fine in a game like this in a movie. Maybe it'd be a bit annoying, but uh, anyway, tell them we got a plan. Oh, wait. Hang on, I'll be back. Wait. What? Oh, darn. I've lost contact. Too bad. Okay, anyway. Sophia. Wait. What now? I'm getting another message from Nurab Sal. Of course that's gonna work. Tell Nurab Sal that I've got a plan. Nurab Sal is listening. <laughs> well, if you want to, the, the solution is to distract him, but... Well, why don't you sick Nurab Sal on the guard? Nurab Sal is not amused by the jokes of fools. <laughs> this guy's probably like, what is she talking about? Let's try another plan. Nurab Sal is listening. Well, what does Nurab Sal suggest? Nurab Sal is confused. <laughs> Let's try another plan. Nurab Sal is listening. Yeah, she's not the plan lady, so, you know, that, that's Indy's job because we're the main character, so. Just distract the guard for a while, okay? Nurab Sal understands all. Oops. Lost contact again. Okay, anyway. Yeah, the, the point is, is we need to have her be aware that we are here and we're here to help. So when we do actually deal with the uh, um, guard, she's uh, she'll uh, be able to help us out, so. Excuse okay. me, Mr. Guard person. What is it now? I was just wondering. Yes? Oh, it's probably nothing. I order you to finish your sentence. Okay, well, let me go ahead and save it really quick, so... Now yeah, we can save it under this one. Not a big deal. Well, you know, you look just... Whoops, I, I actually didn't mean to start that yet. Well, you know, you look just like William the Conqueror. You think so? The resemblance is uncanny. I always suspected that I had royal blood in my veins. Perhaps I should tell your fortune. Would you? Certainly. Here goes. You will encounter an African explorer named Spaulding. Strange, I'm seeing a house being carried away by a tornado. So, uh, uh, she mentions Wizard of Oz. Spalding, I'm trying to remember. Uh, crap. Um, I think that might be... Let me look it up really quick. I, I, she's making movie reference, basically. So, uh, let me see. Luckily, I have access to the internet. You'd think I'd remember that, because I, I, the name is familiar, but... Uh, uh, Okay. There can't be a reference to that. Let's see. Uh, yeah, oh, well, there's a guy called uh, Jeffrey Spaulding. I could swear there's a guy called Captain Spaulding from like an old movie or something like that. Like, uh, um, there's actually a guy called it, but uh, anyway, sorry. I, I, I got distracted for a second, so. I was trying to get all the references, but. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. How bizarre. I see the word rosebud in your eye. Oh, that's a reference to Citizen Kane. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. I'm just seeing if any other movie references. Your squint indicates a journey over the rainbow. Oh, that's another uh, Wizard of Oz reference. Oh. You will encounter an African explorer. Yeah, Africa. Okay, maybe if I type it differently this time, it'll pop up. Because I just typed in Captain Spaulding, I was assuming, but it popped up a character from a, uh, from a, some horror movie. So, let's see. Uh. Yeah, Captain Spall. Oh, is that a reference to Groucho Marx, really? Animal Crackers? That can't be it. Huh. I guess where it's from something else. Hmm. All right. I guess that's what it is. Her name's Spalding. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I think we're... I think we're... According to your brow ridges, you can't go home again. Is that another Wizard of Oz reference? You will soon spend the night at the opera. That's all. Uh, that's You're probably a fan of the opera reference. Journey. I was just saying if there's any other. That's probably good. Blah, 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 blah. How 
bizarre. I see the word rosebud. Okay, I think she's right. She's uh, she's repeating herself. So, all right. So anyway, let's uh, deal with the guard now that she's distracting him. You will soon spend a night at the opera. Blah 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 blah. Who are you? Talk fast, and I better like your tone of voice, or you're a dead man. Well, when he recognized me as Jones. So, okay, so if you want to s uh, survive this in information, you need to say something that uh, has the bucket, uh, I think it's bucket or pail in it. So, pail, bucket, bucket head, so, but. Hi, I'm selling these fine leather jackets. You think I'd fall for that Americana spy? <laughs> he must have thought that jacket was bulletproof. But yeah, he kills you if you don't choose one of those options. So unfortunately, Sophia's guard knew a wise guy when he met one. So the end. All right. Anyway, let's uh, do that again. Blah, 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 blah. Talk to the guard. Who are you? Talk fast, and I'd better like your tone of voice, or you're a dead man. Okay, so it doesn't really matter. So I'm Indiana Jones. Who are you, Buckethead? Buckethead? What kind of insult is that? I'll let Sophia explain it to you. Okay. I want to show off the other dialogue, too, while we're here, so. Sorry, I know. Fire people aren't interested in that. I just want to show it off, so. Blah, 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 blah. Who are you? Talk fast, and I'd better like your tone of voice, or you're a dead man. I'm the staff archaeologist. Got any buckets? What do you want with a bucket? I'll let Sophia... Okay. And then finally, the final line, so... Just to get his response, basically. Who are you? Talk fast, and I'd better like your tone of voice, or you're a dead man. Did Madame foretell that your future looks pale? No, now that you mention it. Indy! Nice work. Anyway, you get six points for knocking the guy out, so... Uh... But anyway... Do you know how to run this boat? Are you kidding, Jones? I'm a spiritualist, not a navigator. Nice Dr. Uh, Bones reference from Star Trek. Well, what do we do now? Kerner claims there's an underwater entrance to Atlantis near here. Let's find it. Any idea where Kerner put the stones? We're out of luck. He's got them in his quarters. We'll see about that. All right. So anyway, now we got Sophia with us. Do you have anything on you? I can't pick that up. I can't pick him up, huh? It's a padlocked wheel of some sort. Now it's like an emergency rudder, as it says there. Listen. What? Okay, I'm going to look around. Okay. All right. Yeah, we actually saved Sophia a little. Well, sort of. I'll go over that here in a second, but. Uh, yeah, usually she gets captured by this point. Try to relax, Herr Doctor. Relax! I better not go in there. They'll recognize me. Come now, don't exaggerate. How else do you explain the wonders of Archicalcum or the stone discs? Hmm. What have you done with the stone? Calm down. They're right behind you in the Captain's strong box. Oh, there was I! Okay, so that, that's how you're supposed to know where they're at. To see if they got any funny dialogue. Probably not. Gone. Perpetual motion. Science jargon. I hadn't thought of that. Perpetual motion, really? Robot legs. I guess they're just trying to think of many ways to use the or calcum. Okay, well, anyway. Anyway, we got a plunger here. So let's pick that up. Who knows? It might come in handy. It might come in handy one day. It's a plumber's helper. Well, it's a plumber. Or it's a plunger, so I guess it's a pl plumber's helper. It's a sandwich worthy of Dagwood Bumstead. Oh, wow. Uh, guy, I'm trying to remember. Bl I think it's Blondie? Is that the, the comic it's referencing? I think so. I could be wrong. I'll have to look it up again. It's an old uh, uh, comic strip where a guy really likes eating uh, sandwiches and stuff like that. I thought it was called Blondie, but I could be wrong. It's been forever since I've read a newspaper comic strip. There. Aren't you coming? I'll just stay here and make sure Sleeping Beauty doesn't wake up. 
good idea. But anyway, it's the most comic book strip or comic strips from newspapers aren't actually that good. Uh, some of them can get you a chuckle, but overall, the only ones I liked were like, you know, peanuts, and even then, that's really an acquired taste. I liked like Calvin and Hobbes and stuff like that, but you know, uh, and Farside sometimes gets some pretty funny stuff, but, but anyway. Okay, so we need to go over here. Because, yeah, he said how they were back behind him in the lockbox. Well, for whatever reason, we can access the lockbox from behind it. And there's all the uh, uh, soldiers, for some reason, still hanging around there, so. Actually, I wonder if you can actually go in there at this point. Let me make a save for that, so. I don't remember every single death, uh, how you get every single death in the game, so. Whoa! That was close. Okay, didn't know if you could actually die from that one. So anyway, let's, I can't reach it. Let's uh, open the closet this door is in the way. Oh right. The fact that the game thought about that. So you'd be surprised at any point in click adventure games think of like old details. You think about how old the game is, you think they wouldn't really pay attention to stuff like that. But you'd be surprised. Anyway, let's go down there. Okay, so now we get need to get the stones. So. Let's go and use the acid-filled mug on the strong box. Incredible. Even though I don't think battery acid would be as super efficient at this, but okay. Whoa, the acid's eating right through the metal. Here are the stone discs. There's a small key in here too. All right, you get nine points for uh, that. But yeah, we have the key and the discs back in our inventory, as you can see there, so. It's a key. I wonder what the key's for. So now let's take a look at our thing. So 964. I think I technically am still missing a few points over the course of the game, even though I, I believe I got most of them, but it might be from like previous files or some of that are like minor details on stuff that I forgot to reload from an old file, but uh, I'll have, I'll get most of them anyway. So whoops, I didn't actually mean to go down. So Okay, sorry. Okay, so there should I need to go back to the aft, which is over here. Okay, so I need to push both or push or interact with both of these. Yeah, see how uh, using that messes with the uh, boat, as you can see there. Like one will slow it down and whatever. So anyway. Yeah, click back onto that. So let's also push the switch here. But now we can we can do something with it, as you can see there. Yeah, see, uh, like the top one goes really fast, and the bottom one slows it down. And then switch. Yeah, if you do that, you reverse the uh, boat. So now we know how to uh, control the sub, which will help us get to our location. So. But we just have to unlock both those, so. All right, let's head back to where Sophia is. And that'll uh, get us the next step. Okay, so now that we got that key, obviously we have to use the key on the, the rudder there. Now it's unlocked. Now we can control everything. Let's push the wheel, doesn't matter, so. So what that does, oh, let me show off. So that turns the vehicle around completely. So, <clears throat> whoops, you have to stop the thing to, to switch it. So now we can, basically what we're doing here is we're basically controlling the ship in general to figure out how to, uh, uh, so we can take it to Atlantis is what we're doing. So anyway, if you want to go back, ever go back into the ship, you click the sub. I said that earlier, but anyway, let's go back to the tower. Yeah, we're setting everything in motion to control this. If you're playing the Wits Path, you have to uh, you have to fix the torpedo mechanism so you can shoot yourselves out of the torpedo into Atlantis. But since we have Sophia with us and it's on her path, we have to actually take her to Atlantis ourselves. So wonderful! It snapped right off. Yeah, fortunately we can't we can't use that. But however, we have an alternative for it. So. It fits. Who knew that's how that worked like that? But anyway, you get eight points for uh, um, for uh, doing that. So now, now that the thing's fixed, we can now 
pull it so now yeah we can now raise we can either go up or down or you know uh, uh, dive or rise in the ship itself so now we have a, everything we need to to fix or uh, to control the ship so okay so now we need to get to the airlock itself All right, so you need to find a rectangular opening to where the airlock is. Is that good enough? Might not be. Nope, okay, I need to turn back around. Oh, I keep... Oh, I keep doing it wrong. Oh, <laughs> this is actually, this is actually annoying me, like, a lot. <laughs> okay, switch that one again. And this way. This way, this way, this way, this way, that should be enough. There we go, finally. Yeesh, that took me a hot minute. Really the thing that was confusing me was the way you have to turn the, um, the, the wheel. Amazing. We're hundreds of feet below sea level, yet there's enough air pressure to keep the water out. How is it possible? Welcome to Atlantis, Indy. Okay, so unlike the other paths, we actually get to help. We actually get Sophia with us during this whole thing. So this part's probably probably going to be a bit a uh, bit long because we're going to be playing this whole thing with uh, Cynthia or Cynthia Sophia. I'll try to make uh, make it go as fast as as possible. So we pick up a wooden thing here, and like before, uh, the um, our eyes will eventually adjust to this. But we need to pick up the wooden thing here. We need to hit the stone rubble over here. The Get your hands off me, Jones. Jones? Hey, you're not Jones. Help, Indy. <coughs> Indy. Sophia. Yeah, she got caught. <laughs> so no, yeah, the uh, path ends up uh, becoming the exact same here as any other path. So, um, all right, well, let me... Uh, it feels like a ladder. Let me actually get the light in this room and then I'll... Uh, okay, I'm trying to adjust to the light here. Let's see. Uh, open this casket here. Hey, it opens. Pick up what's inside the metal rod, and then use the aura calcum on that. Okay, I just want Sophia. Where are you? Kerner must have grabbed her somehow. Yeah. So yeah, like every single path. Yeah, even on the team path, Sophia gets captured again. So unfortunately, that's just how it is. So after this point, the game plays exactly the same as all the other games. So, or all the other paths. So we had to go through the labyrinth, go through all the random rooms, and then uh, start the machine, get make the aura calcum, uh, capture the, the crab, beat the octopus, uh, uh, rescue Sophia, and all this other stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that off screen. So if you wanna know exactly how to do it, I did it on the wits path and the fight path, but since I've already done it twice, I don't wanna do it again. So the last thing I will show is the um, solution to the puzzle here. Um, because this one, the, the, the final puzzle is obviously random per, per playthrough. So let's look at the dialogue. So uh, to, for the final one, we just need to swap the, um, the solution from the previous, uh, pre previous one that required the uh, puzzle. So let's do that really quick. All right, let's take a look at that. Okay, so last time I did this, it was a waning moon and darkness and the city. Whoops. 
So what we want to do is we want to flip it. So we want to put the Winnie Moon there in the darkness over here. Darkness, my old friend. So that would leave the Noon Sun, Waxing Moon, and Volcano here, I believe. The mouth of the statue opened. And then just use an Orichalcum bead to the statue, and that opens the door. Okay, so yeah, and like before, um, uh, all the every all the rooms have been randomized, and you'll find soldiers running around. So if you ever run into a soldier, uh, if you didn't get the cold cut sandwiches from before, you need to fight a soldier to get uh, some bratwurst from him or some food, and then you use that to get the crab uh, capture or whatever. So, all right, so let's see. So uh, yeah, I am missing a set of points somewhere. I'm trying to remember because I thought I did every single thing. It's probably one. Ra it's probably a couple of random like little details I forgot um, over the course of the game. I'll try to look those up really quick before, but because a thousand is the total you can get for the the whole game. Um, so I'm gonna look that up while I sol solve the rest of the, the uh, puzzles, and I'll meet you back uh, at the finale. So I'll see y'all in a second. All right, before we uh, go to the end, I want to show off a funny line that I forgot to show off over the course of the game. It's just, I don't know why, I just thought it was hilarious. If you try to use the uh, statue head on the pedestal. Why? I don't know why, I just I, just him randomly saying why just made me laugh. And for those of you, you can't, you can't like, uh, try to get the lava with the head sticking out. I can't pick that up. I can't pick up molten lava with my bare hands. Yeah, you could try to kill yourself, but... That doesn't seem to work. I'd rather not stick my hand under a stream of molten lava. I don't think that'll work. Yeah, what could... an archaeological find! You could try to, like, I, I heard you can... I don't think that'll work. I've heard you're supposed to be able to kill uh, like kill yourself by doing this, but as far as I'm aware of, I can't get to work. But anyway, I just wanted to show off the Y option. Just I just thought that was funny that he said that. So, all right, I'll see you at the at the before the ending. What are you doing? Just um, eating a sandwich, Corporal. That's not very polite. Hmm, I know. Why don't you make one for yourself? I really shouldn't leave my post. Oh. Ah. I thought he'd never leave. Okay, so I found uh, some of the missing points I missed. So I showed off that you could eat the sandwich in front of them, but I guess I was in the wrong spot because it never activated that. So, and this is on the wits path when you go into the uh, uh, submarine. Okay, so... One more set of points and maybe the ending. We'll see after that. Hey, you! No civilians allowed in here. Now wait a minute. Your shoelace is untied. Where? Wait, these boots don't have any lasers. <laughs> All right, so that's the final guy. I somehow just skipped this guy when I was going through the fight area. Either that or I sucker punched him in the fight uh, path, but yeah, that's it. That's all a thousand, so I've shown every single point of the game. Man, too bad you don't get a congratulations or a, or a job well done for finding everything. It's just a bragging right, so oh well, whatever. Anyway, I'll see you at the end of the game. Uh-oh. Uh, there's another death I forgot to show because of, uh, I guess it's just really hard to do. Like, you just have to kind of walk back and forth between it and it eventually kills him. So, Indy was swallowed up just moments before discovering the final secret of Atlantis. Yeah, I think that's other, well, I guess that's not the final death. The final death is if you choose, don't even try to, uh, convince Uberman that, uh, of the beat thing. But anyway, all right, now I'll see you at the end of the credits. Uh-oh. What did you do now, Indy? I think I turned it on. You see, Colonel? I told you chorns would be of some use to us. C 
Turner, I knew I smelled a rat. All I smell, Herr Charles, is your beer. Don't move. My God, how beautiful! Congratulations, Dr. Jones. You've just handed the Third Reich its ultimate victory. It'll take more than a few orichalcum bombs to conquer the world, Overman. Bombs? The gods don't need bombs. Take a look around. What do you think this astonishing machinery was used for? All right, I thought I'd show you the ending again with Sophia, even though if you watch the Wits Path, it, it's got it, but eh, why not? Let's do something a little bit differently, so. Well, that's a mystery we'll never unravel. Wrong! As Plato himself well knew, this was a factory for manufacturing higher beings! While you've been wandering around, we've been stockpiling orichalcum. And now we have all we need! Are you ready for the greatest moment in history, Doctor? I mean, I could have stocked up on Orichalcum, but you can always... St I forgot how much you can actually stack up, but they have like over a hundred or something like that, which with the infinite amount of lava here, you could make like thousands of Orichalcum. But, uh, you know. I'll pass, thanks. Scientific discoveries belong to the board, Chons. That's something you of all people should understand. Actually, I'm kind of surprised Sophia has nothing to say during this whole finale at all. Like, she doesn't get... I don't think she gets hardly any lines, so... You really believe in this godhood business? Why not? As a god, I shall know everything, be everywhere, rule everyone! We both shall rule, Herr Doctor. Eh? Don't be silly, Karna. You're not prepared for this. We shall see. If someone asks if you're a god, you say yes! Didn't you notice all those hideously deformed bones? Experiments gone awry, unworthy slaves sacrificed in the name of knowledge. Progress has its price, you know. The Nazis would know all about that, wouldn't they? Maybe they were all too human, like you. Subhuman, you mean? They were destroyed by their physical imperfections when they based on the awesome power of this device. Fortunately, we suffer from no such imperfections. Uh, yeah. I mean, we... Well, uh, uh, it's best not to argue with, with those crazy guys, so... Godhood sounds good. i like a crack at that. I like a man with courage. No! What? If anyone's going to become a god, it must be me. You don't make me laugh. I am in charge of this operation, you spineless sausage. Activate the machine. <sighs> a test is a test. Plato suggested 10B. Let's try that. Wait. What now, Charles? Oh, go ahead. You could use some self-improvement. You sound a little too happy about this. Tell me what's so amusing. Ten beads may give you size ten antlers. Hmm. Just a thought. You may be right. We should divide by ten. Try one bead. One bead it is! Himmel! It's working! No! A small bead for a small man, eh, Charles? Now it's your turn! Yeah, you know, I'm surprised uh, no one else says anything. Like, Jones doesn't say anything, Sophia doesn't say anything when he dips into the lava like, oh my god, or something like that. It's like, nah, it, it just kind of happened. It's almost like Sophia's optional for this part of the game, so, but anyway. Not a chance, cue ball. Move! Unless you want my men to move you! That's better! 
Surprised they didn't threaten Sophia. You know, it's like, if you don't want to do it, maybe Sophia would like to do this or something, and then we'd take her place. You know, something like that, so. You don't need Aura Calcum. You need a miracle. Nonsense! I'll stop it's Plato's number. Can we should do the trick? Here goes! Hang on a second. You know, it makes me wonder, like, uh, if, you know, obviously the whole fallacy of the Atlanteans and everything like that, but I wonder if there were, ever was what uh, a perfect number or if this was just a doomed thing like no matter what happened you'd either turn to one of the monsters or you turn to one of those spirits that explode like Nurbal Nurbal Sal uh, I mean obviously there's no reason to ever know and there's I guess no point but it's one of those things where I'm just kind of curious so listen what if Plato's error went the other way how do you mean I think Plato and Kerner were both wrong all right, Chorns, you decide how many feeds should be used. I do kind of like the fact that the final puzzle of the game isn't like a fight mechanic or like a weird puzzle. It's just a, a conversation puzzle to convince the bad guy. And you, your typical action movies convince them to do something stupid, even though they clearly have the upper hand and they shouldn't listen to us in the first place. But no feed, you crazy old man. Come now, Doctor. Where's your scientific curiosity? For your sake, I hope this doesn't work. Why not? Because I'd be an angry god. Once I'm a god, I'm sending you straight to hell. I'm offering you immortality. Is that the thanks I get? If, if, if actually becoming a god was an actual thing, would it, when you transfer from humanhood to godhood, would you even remember your previous statement? Was godhood like an actual physical transformation or is it a spiritual transformation? Or is it like D&D &D where the, or D&D &D or like, uh, um, uh, Norse mythology where they're actually physical, just basically just humans who have just attained godhood or whatever. But anyway, let's, uh, let's watch the end of the game one more time and just talk about my thoughts about the series afterwards. You ever hear the term angry god? Wait till you see me. Hang on. Perhaps I haven't thought this through. You want to go fast. You're scheming against me in spite of my generosity. Well, you won't get the upper hand that way. Stand aside, Jones. 98, 99, 100 feet. Prepare to feel my wrath. Sophia. You know, a lot of my discoveries seem like tall tales, even to me. At least there's some evidence this time. Then again, maybe not. What was that for? To ease the pain. 
Well, and that's in the end of uh, Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis, the, the team path. And as you see there, I got max points of a thousand. So, oh, uh, maybe a bit overkill to get all the points. I originally wasn't going to do all the points, but after I got so many, I was like, eh, let's go ahead and try to find all of them. So yeah, those last couple were kind of annoying because you always hate missing a couple along the path. You got your notes and then you you messed up in your notes somewhere along the way, like the eating the sandwich in front of the guy and fighting that one guy. I guess he, I either bypassed him or I sucker punched him and, and I forgot to make a save file to go back to fight that guy legit, which I showed on screen, obviously. Uh, overall, the game is fantastic. I think it's a great considered a lot of people consider it the fourth movie in the series i don't know if it's that great to be turned in a movie but i i would have liked to have seen this bit turned in a movie i think it would have been cool but unfortunately there was only three movies so and we just have to enjoy what we got from the games although some of the games aren't that great from what i remember but this one's at least a good one uh, they actually did a point and click of the uh last crusade which i heard wasn't too bad um and then there was like the infernal engine internal engine and a couple others and i heard by the time of this recording they're working on a new game we'll see how that works i assume it's gonna be just an action adventure game um but overall the game's fantastic i like the humor in it um the music the guy uh, person who did the music does a pretty good impersonation of john uh you know um the music in the movies and stuff like that i think anyway uh, the puzzles were interesting and varied, and I liked the random aspect of it, so it gave you reasons to replay it. It wasn't crazy on the randomness. There's only like like three or four variations, except for like one of the world stones, which was like seven or something like that. But even then, it still gave like a different playthrough, and the three paths, you know, initially. Um, overall, I'm I'm trying to think what my favorite path is. Probably fight is probably I like the idea of the fight path. It's just if the fight mechanic was better, I think it 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 would be up there but it's probably the weakest path just because of the fight mechanic being kind of wonky at least you can sucker punch everyone uh so that fixes that problem uh i like the whip path because there's a lot a lot more uh puzzly puzzles in there like in terms of how you solve certain things um overall and then the team path is just fun just to have sophia there although i kind of wish she was utilized more often because i feel like some of the solutions with her there weren't really much if that makes sense but i don't know this again this game's overall short so i don't know what i would have asked for maybe more interactions with sophia or maybe more opportunities to like because the idea of splitting with sophia and having her take control at the beginning of the game i think was supposed to set up that maybe there were going to be a couple puzzles where you had to play as sophia or go to a different area and then switch to uh indy at one point but that never got utilized so oh well what can I say? But either way, oh yeah, I don't think we ever got that much younger game. I think they were talking about the, uh, um, I think they were talking about the TV series maybe, or they were going to, uh, cause I don't remember any other young Indiana Jones game. Maybe it's cause they were going to make one, but then it never came to be or something like that. So overall a great game. Uh, overall, uh, I, I'm going to repeat myself multiple times. I'm always bad about doing these ending things. So but and oh yeah and, uh, obviously indy was pretty pretty on character for the most part i wish the voice acting was a little bit better um you could tell that there was a couple of bad line reads there or didn't try as hard well i wouldn't say try but maybe there wasn't enough good direction because like i said voice acting never really came into its really own in video games until like maybe the early mid 2000s onward and then kind of got a little bit more uh it got a bit better overall there were some early games that had good voice work but you know that was like kind of like a rare exception every once in a while um uh, yeah i hope uh hope you enjoyed me playing all three paths in the game i enjoyed playing a point and click like this uh after so many years it's always nice to be able to kind of go back to these old games and see how they hold up i think they i think this game still holds up i know for a lot of younger kids it probably wouldn't hold up because it's you know puzzly methodical but i kind of miss these type of point and click adventure games most point and click games now are a bit more tedious or click or clicky if that makes sense where you just have to click on everything or or they have like stupid mini games or something with like that in it, but uh, at least the classics are still here and we can buy it. So, but well, I'm gonna hang it, I'm gonna hang up my whip and coat and hat, and perhaps one day we'll play another Indiana Jones game. But if not, this would be satisfactory. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next adventure.